Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us for another Whitfields. You're not looking at the camera. Oh. Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us for another Whitfields drink review. I was gonna that thing that was the camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. It has been a little while since we have done a review because we are busy on super secret, possibly cool things that we can't talk about. Some things we can talk about. I'm working on a new album right now and it's taking up lots of time, but there are other really cool, exciting goodies happening. So, in time I'll be able to tell you. If it happens, then you'll know, and if it doesn't happen, then I'll tell you why it didn't happen. But anyway, today we are breaking our silence so we can bring you a review. A two for one. I'm not, we're not splitting these. We're not gonna, we're not cheaping out and like splitting these into two videos to get more views. We're doing the Pepsi Salted Caramel Drinks Libation and the Mountain Dew Holiday Brew. I like that they call it a brew because it sounds like a beer. I'm more excited to try this one. I don't know what it's going to taste like. Well, about. nothing says winter like it being 85 degrees outside in Florida like it is right now. Legitimately, it's in the mid 80s right now and we're drinking a holiday brew. And they even have the Salvation Army, you know, bell ringers outside. It just doesn't feel like Christmas at all. I mean, well, it's not Christmas, but it does not feel holiday-ish holiday at all. I'm still in Halloween, to be honest with you. So. Well, since you're more excited about that, we'll do this one first. Pepsi Salted Caramel. Limited time only. What's interesting about this is, I mean, Pepsi already has a very caramely, because that's what the color is caramel color. Mm -hmm. So they just decided not to just use the color. Let's just put the caramel in. So I think this will probably lend well. Yeah. I'm curious about if you can taste the salt. Because I actually do really, really like salted caramel. Sea salt and caramel is quite good. Okay. It's carbonated. That was surprising. I didn't know it was going to be carbonated. <laughs> smells like Pepsi. Does There is a little hint of something in there. Oh, that's stronger than I thought it was going to be. That's actually pretty damn good. Wow. Mm. You know what it tastes like? Mm. Um, cream soda or root beer. But it tastes like a cream soda-ish or root beer-ish. I can actually taste it. Mm -hmm. I didn't think it was really gonna taste like anything. Ooh. But it does have a very cream soda quality just to the next level. The uh, caramel is surprisingly strong. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a like a burnt caramel, like a brown sugar, like it tastes a little toasted. I'm not getting salt. 64 milligrams of caffeine, 170 calories, 44 sugars. I mean, that's pretty standard. Like the Pepsi Fire was just weird. Yeah, that was It was just cinnamon. Weird. It was, and it seemed, it seems like that should have come out in the winter. Not mm -hmm. necessarily this one. This one, I mean, that's weird, right? This could have easily been a summertime one. This is almost like a carnival, like a funnel cake or something. Yeah. Hey, Pepsi, I'm not, yeah, I'm telling the billion dollar company how like, hey, you guys should listen to me. I think, I think I know a little bit more about the soda business than you do. I mean, I like it enough that I would get that one again, but it is sweet. I mean, I know Pepsi's already sweet, but it's sweet like candy bar sweet. That's significantly more calories. Ooh, 290. Holy sh! So this is 170 calories and 44 sugars. This is 290. And 77 sugars. How much caffeine? 91. 91. Wow, that's just a different animal. And what exactly is this supposed to be? It doesn't say. It says do plus code red holiday. A holiday blend plus code red. So it just smells like code red to me. Man. Yeah, I suppose a code red. I'm just wondering, because Mountain Dew always has this thing where they tend to taste very similar to each other. I'm hoping they did something like this Pepsi, like really like noticeable. That's not a great sign. I don't like it. <laughs> it tastes like nothing. Nice description. Like, <laughs> it, I don't like it. Just dump it out. Thanks, all, thanks, thanks for watching, everyone. It tastes very weak. Whatever the flavor that's supposed to be there seems like it's missing. It doesn't smell like Code Red. It smells like regular Mountain Dew. It, to me, it hardly has any flavor. Does it seem like it's missing something? Yeah, flavor. It tastes like you had a Code Red with ice in it yeah. and just let it sit for a little while. There's nothing to that. Where's 290 calories? Maybe that. Maybe they, they flavored it with calories. I wanna, now I gotta see other people who've had this holiday brew, my ass. You think holiday brew, you think of spices, you think of nutmeg, you think of cinnamon, you think of anything that's like Christmassy, a holiday. Yeah. It says holiday right on there. It's gonna taste like, you know, a gingerbread cookie, snickerdoodles or something. This tastes like watered down Code Red. Uh, Mountain Dew, what's going on with this? Ultimate holiday. I gotta say, I mean, if this is your idea of an ultimate holiday, I'm glad Mountain Dew's not buying my presents. 
the ultimate drink, seltzer water. I am very confused. I, you know, I swear to God, I think they just had some like leftover stuff in Code Red and they just like, hey, just throw that together and call it like a holiday thing. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, MNT do, that there is, there was, there was not a collective like sit down, let's make this taste like holiday. There's no way there was a, like a, a conscious effort to make this taste holiday because if so, can you please explain to me what exactly, what holiday we're referring to? Because it was like Arbor Day or like Flag Day because this ain't yeah. like, you know, the winter holidays. So, all right. I, I, I can, I'm having trouble getting past the calories and sugar that the one with no flavor. Now, if, yeah. if someone had said, taste these, blind taste test these, which one do you think has more sugar and which one has more calories? There'd be no doubt that we would think this has more sugar and more yeah, calories. Very... And it's way less. Okay, the tale of two sodas. One's gift from mom and gift from grandma. One's always going to be disappointing. <laughs> In my case, um, this was a Sega Genesis game, and this was a um, bath skirt. <laughs> True story. I got a bath skirt in a canteen. <laughs> For Christmas from your grandparents. A very short bath <laughs> skirt. It's like, it's like a bath mini skirt. So, anyway, Tastes I don't. Like they could they're... not possibly have made this taste more like what they said it is. So. Yeah. And honestly, the calories and the sugar, you're like, okay, that seems high. And then you see this, you're like, wow, this is like a diet drink compared yeah. to that. Because okay. this tastes bad, it's just disappointing. All right, we'll give it a one. Okay. So one, five. So that's what we think. I don't know. Let us know what you think. We got this at Publix. It was the only place we've seen it. So if you are looking to try this, I think Publix, if you have them, I don't think Publixes are everywhere. So if you have a Publix, I think that might be the best place for you to go check it out, see if you can get one of them. They were $1.50 a piece. They were two for three. So not too bad. But you know, honestly, if you do, let us know if yours tasted more Maybe like something than nothing, like ours did. So let us know what you think in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Don't worry, we got all kinds of other things coming out. We won't be gone for too long. In fact, we're doing a live video tonight where we're going to just hang out with you guys and do the one chip challenge from the new Carolina Reaper chip. That's 25% hotter, so that's going to be real fun for me. So anyway, I do look forward to hanging out with everyone and kind of getting back in the groove of things. So thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow us on all these things down here below. And then hit that notification button so you know when we put on a new video. And thank you all for watching and until next time.